Hey there, it's Tyler with Titan Media. Have you ever wanted to rank on the first page of Google? Have you dreamed of being in the first, second, or third spot for your target keywords? Well, in this video, I'm going to show you some methods you can use to rank on the first page of Google. Now, there's one thing I have to mention before I get started telling you about these techniques, and that is that it's super hard to rank on the first page of Google. There's been pages and websites around for years and years and years and outranking them can be difficult depending on how hard the keyword is. But if you implement, implement these techniques, you will have a lot higher chance of ranking on the first page um, than if you wouldn't implement these techniques. So the first thing that you should be doing, and if you've watched any of my videos, you know probably that the most important thing is having good content. So Google is you know, a content machine. It takes in the content into its algorithm and it looks at all the text, all the images, all of the videos, whatever is on the page, and it uses that to rank it depending on how you know high quality the text is and how high quality the content is. And now it also looks at user behavior of that content. So um, let's say that you search for how to repair a Nissan Pathfinder. So if you click on that first result and it's, let's say, an, an ad or you know, it doesn't give you the information that you need, you're going to click back to Google um, really quick. Now Google looks at that time in between being on their search engine to going to the website to coming back to their search engine. Now this is called dwell time. So the shorter the dwell time, the, the worse it is for the website. So Google knows that if you go to a site and then come back real quick, that you didn't find your answer. So let's say you go to that next result and you click on that result and it gives you what you need so you read the whole thing and you end up spending five minutes on the website so it's going to know that that content was better because it provided a better answer to the user and it's likely going to rank you higher for that content or for that keyword so what can you do with this well so let's let's say you want to rank for how to uh, fix a Nissan Pathfinder so search for how to fix a Nissan Pathfinder in Google and look at the first few results and see how long the content is, how many words it is, you know, if it has videos, if it has images, and all you have to do is make a better article. So make it more in depth, make it longer, make it have more media, more videos, more images, and um, that is the first base to, uh, to be able to rank on the first page of something. So whatever you're wanting to rank for, search for that keyword, look at the first couple pieces of content, and simply make a better page, post, or content than what is there now. Now once you have that, next you have to have on-page SEO. Now this can be a, a multitude of things. We're just going to go over a, a few of them because you know I can make an, an hours of video on just on-page SEO itself. Um, but there's just a few important things that you want to do. Uh, to make sure that your site is compliant and uh, optimized for SEO or you know all that good content is going to go to waste and uh, Google's not going to be able to tell what your page is about unless your content unless your page is optimized for SEO. So you want to make sure that your target keywords that you're wanting to rank for whoop, are in your uh, your page titles, your URL, um, your meta descriptions and all that good stuff. Um, and this will um, tell Google that these are the keywords that you're wanting to rank for and um, it will better know how to you know, rank your content and what it's about and all that kind of stuff. The next thing is to keep your meta title and URL short. So try and not to stuff your meta titles and your um, URL with a bunch of keywords. Uh, if you're trying to rank for, you know, how to fix a Nissan Pathfinder, then that should be your URL. Simply how to um, fix a Nissan Pathfinder, and that will ensure that you can rank for that key or that URL specifically, um, and it's a lot more likely that you can rank for that URL or for that keyword if you know it's in your URL. So um, on-page SEO is super important uh, for ranking on the first page of Google. Um, another piece of on-page SEO that deserves its own category is having HTTPS enabled on your site. 
So HTTPS is um, is a secure um, it's a secure encryption between your your server and the browser, and this is now a ranking factor in Google. So it's more likely to rank you higher if your website is secure than if it's not. So make sure that you buy an SSL certificate. They're you know uh, around 99 bucks a month or a year, sorry, um, and it's definitely worth the cost of. Uh, paying that yearly because you can see a huge uh, increase in rankings and you're a lot more likely to rank on the first page if you um, have a secure website. So this kind of goes into on-page SEO. Um, it's kind of a part of it because it's on your page and um, it's a factor. Uh, but just make sure that your website is secure and you will see a lot better results. So the next thing and debatably one of the most important is backlinks. So you're not going to rank on the first page if you don't have good content and you're not going to rank on the first page if you don't have backlinks. They say that backlinks is probably the most important ranking factor that there is as far as um, ranking on the first page. Uh, just by looking at the statistics it's known that having more backlinks you're more likely to rank on the first page. So. Um, I could do another whole video on this as well. Um, it's really important uh, to remember that you want to use good backlinks. Don't you know start commenting on a bunch of blog posts and submitting to forums and stuff like that. Um, that's not really going to get you far. Um, you want high quality backlinks from all different domains that have um, you know a high um, DA. So. Um, what you can do with this is the same thing that we did with the content. So let's keep with our same example we've been using the whole time and let's say that you are wanting to rank for um, how to fix a Nissan Pathfinder. So what you can do is do the same thing, search for how to fix a Nissan Pathfinder and you're going to uh, see how many backlinks each site has. Now there's a, t a ton of different ways that you can do this. Um, there's tools online that can show you uh, how many backlinks each URL have, or you can use a tool like Arefs, like we use, and you can simply put in, you know, search, put in your search term, and it will show you every um, listing that would come up and how many backlinks each listing has. So once you figure out all the backlinks that you know the first spot, the second spot, the third spot have, you want to have, you want to build more backlinks than the first spot. So let's say the first spot has 200 backlinks to it. So that means you need to be build at least 201 backlinks to that page if you want to expect to uh, rank above that site. So if you, if you provide better content and more backlinks mixed in with on-page SEO, you are uh, more likely to rank on the first page. Now there is one more thing that a lot of people forget about that I have to throw in here. And that's time. SEO is not a fast process. Uh, people want to start a website and they want to rank for you know these hard keywords you know in months, and that's just not going to happen. Uh, there's you know websites and web pages that have been ranked on the first page for you know like I said like five to ten years, and you're not actually going to be able to start a website and outrank those. Uh, it takes uh, months and years to rank on the first page for terms. Uh, for example, with Titan Media, um, you know, we didn't rank on the first page for anything until after a year. I would say that um, you're not going to be on the first page for about a year. It seems like uh, Google's algorithm has something in it that uh, looks at the time of a website and uh, how long the pages have been ranked in Google, and it's most likely not going to rank you on page one uh, for at least a year, unless you know the the keywords that you're trying to rank for are. Um, not very, not very competitive. So make sure that once you implement this, you give it some time. You know, it takes a long time for the algorithm, algorithms to figure out everything, move everything up and down. You know, it's like a stock; it's going to go up and down, but you just got to wait it out, and then eventually, you know, it'll it'll kind of go up to the top really slowly. Um, and then you need to make sure that you're keeping up, uh, building those backlinks, and updating the content to keep that at the uh, the first page or the first spot. So I hope that uh, this has helped you out a little bit, and um, if you can't implement these, then uh, it's likely that you can rank on the first page for your target keywords. Just make sure that your content's good, and you have some high quality backlinks, and you just give it some time. I hope you enjoyed this video today. Um, I 
have enjoyed giving you all this knowledge that, uh, that I have about SEO and I would love for you to follow me. I'm always posting new videos and content about how to grow your business online. Thanks and have a great day.